So we're back down here with Snow Badger, and to give you a, re a quick recap from last video, Brandon and I <clears throat> think that the oil pump that we installed might be off or might be bad because the cam uh, sensor had metal on it. We're still dropping oil pressure and also the coolant is still, or the engine temp is still going up even though I do not have a thermostat in it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pull the short block out. I'm gonna send it off to Brandon. He's gonna look through it and then I'm gonna be away for work and I'll come back and put everything back in and hopefully everything will be good. So let's go ahead and pull this out. So the start of this day was going great. Beautiful day out, blue sky, sun is out, and I started tearing apart Snow Badger to get the engine out to ready to send off to Brandon to get fixed. Well, here's the story, and here's all what happens. So I built this car knowing that I was going to be taking out the engine multiple times and transmission multiple times. So I generally placed everything to make it easy for this transition to happen. As you see right now, I got the hoist already hooked up and ready to take the engine out. And it's probably been about an hour and a half to two hours from the time I started to the time I actually took the engine out. And now I can finally take off the rear flex plate because I can look at the rear main seal to see if that was a problem of why I was leaking oil. Well, now we got the 5.3 out of here. And remember I was saying that there was oil leaking from the bottom a few videos back. And it looks like the rear main seal must have been leaking from the bottom there because it's just wet all over here with oil so i have to have brandon take that cover off i'm gonna put the stands on it get down on the ground and then uh we'll get brandon to take it apart and take a look welcome back everybody we are back over here at brandon's shop with php and we're gonna take my old 5.3 as snow badger and we're gonna transfer everything over to this 5.3 which I just found out is an aluminum block, and that's an iron block. Didn't know that, now I do. So we're gonna transfer over, over the heads, um, then we're gonna transfer over the water pump, do the crank over, and then uh, I'll go drain the oil out of this, take the pan off, clean that, and transfer all that stuff over as well. But we're gonna go and get this swapped over, and we'll see you when it's done. This was just supposed to be a nice, simple process. Swap over the heads and everything will be good to go because the other option would be to take my springs off, my valve springs off, and then put the valve springs on the new engine. Well, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to take the heads off instead. And let me just tell you this, I should have just done the springs. All right, back here for day two. To finish this up, I still have to uh, torque down that head, put the push rods in and rockers on it, and then we'll go ahead and start taking this one off, cleaning up that side and getting it all done. So let's put you back on the time lapse so we can get this done. Now that it's day two, I thought I was making fantastic time. I just needed to torque down that driver's side head, then go ahead and put the push rods in and the rockers and that's it and then I can continue on to the passenger side head. Well, no. And here I will explain why. Just remember, when you're putting heads on, make sure the dowel is still on. Well guys, another problem, but this is my problem. See these dowels right here? I never put them in that block. 
So now I gotta take both the heads off again, put the dowels in, then retorque everything. So that was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. And then I, so gotta go and take these heads off and put those dowels back on. Yep, I know it's dirty under here, but I put new valve cover gaskets on because I was leaking. And then also the new gaskets right here for the bolts. Those are all new on there. So hopefully I won't have any more oil coming out of my head gaskets because, or not head gaskets, out of my valve cover gaskets because of um, I was leaking back here. And I thought that's where my problem was, but it wasn't. So put new ones on and let's continue on and get the other head done. All right, so it's now day three. That was two, three. I was trying to get this off. So what happened is, is I think this one, the nut started to strip like on these little ridges all the way around here. They rounded it, or I think I accidentally rounded it when I was torquing it down. But I got some deep wells to go on top so hopefully that takes it off so i got very very lucky and the deep well sockets as you saw that head was able to come off i put the dowels in it and put the head and retorque everything back in there that was such a win on day three you guys have no idea how happy it was and now the passenger side head just came off went back on torqued everything down and now we can finally make some forward progress. As you see now, I'm retorquing down the LS heads. But now that I have head studs, I have to do it in three different times to torque everything down. The first one is 35 foot pounds, the second one is 50 foot pounds, and the third one's gonna be 70 foot pounds for the ARP head studs and I went by their sequence as well because this is what I needed to do in order to get an even seal all the way across. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking the windage tray and the pickup tube off of my old engine and inspecting it and making sure that everything's okay. Also took the oil pan off there and gonna clean that all out. Branding came over to look at both of the engines melling oil pumps now that I have the timing covers off because remember I had a bunch of metal on my cam sensor and he wanted to make sure that my oil pump was still good to put on to the new engine. Okay so I got the oil pan off and same thing happened I'm actually going to get this all cleaned up really well so it's brand new so we don't have any contaminants in the oil when I put it in the new engine. But same thing happened. You see, there's that gap right here, right up top there. That's what was causing our leaking problem again. So when I take this one off and put it on to there, we're gonna make sure that's gonna be on the right way and everything's gonna be good to go so we don't have that problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done get over there because this is the last thing we need to do just put the oil pan onto that one and then we're good to go well guys took the pickup tube off and if you see that silver thing in there that's gasket material so that was sucked up inside there and uh we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned out as well because we're gonna put the old oil pump back on that i had on here because it's the upgraded one put it on there and then we'll be good to go Okay, so we got the oil pan nice and cleaned out. I have the pickup tube nice and cleaned out. We're gonna get that butted up against my oil pump so we know it's not gonna leak. And then we'll get the pan on and then uh, get the rest of the button up and we'll be good to go. Also, since I had the timing cover off, we put a new timing cover gasket and a new uh, front gasket where the timing cover goes over the front crank as well. So both of those new gaskets on to help out. All right, so I got everything back on and everything's good to go so far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the car, get that bolted up, get everything together, and hopefully we'll be able to start it 
Uh, and then everything will be good to go. We can test out the oil pressure and then also get the coolant going. So let's go ahead and get this in there. I am extremely happy at this point because now I have the long block back in my garage ready to go in Snow Badger. Well, I start bolting everything up and I go to put the bolts through the flex plate into the converter and two out of the six spin. Well, just my luck at this point, I was not happy at all. So I ended up just stopping. I had stuff I wanted to do and uh, I will continue on with this on the next video. Hopefully start everything up. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.